Tesla's second generation Roadster had been unveiled a little over a year ago now and that was absolute shocker. Um, I can't wait for it to go in production. I may be one of the owners of the Founder Series. I'm actually, I probably won't get a free one, but I'm, I now have enough uh, percentage off, I think, with my referrals where I will be able to at least afford it. I think it's too much car for my taste. Every time I drove P100D, uh, you know, I got like a headache and was nauseous for the rest of the day. So I don't know how I'm going to handle this car, but I don't, I think it will be a while until I get my hands on one. But there are now, there's now competition from other brands. Uh, now Remats um, and Planinfarina um, and a few others are coming up with their hypercars for like $2 million each. But now there is competition from a legacy maker. I'll tell you what it is and why and how it's going to compete with the Roadster, why it's exciting. All of this is coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, what a year this is going to be. Uh, you know, every day we have so many exciting news and it will be more and more with every day. Just, just be, promise me one thing. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything. None of that moving forward. All right, so let's talk about, you know, Tesla Roadster, obviously, amazing specs, uh, uh, are really high expectations. By the way, this is one of my most favorite pictures of uh, kind of an Elon and Roadster. This was taken at the unveiling, at which I was actually present myself. That was pretty cool memory. But uh, one of the newer competitors is this car, uh, which is an Audi PB18. PB stands for Pebble Beach. That's what that, where it was introduced. I was there for you guys. I don't know if you remember uh, my video that I made. Uh, oh, well, that's not the video. This is the video. This is the video that I made uh, during the Monterey Car Week when they presented it. I talked to the head designer. And at that time, it was a concept car. And even though I usually try not to cover like weird exotic concepts that will never go to production, there, something told me, something told me that this may be bigger than that. Um, and now my favorite feature in that car was the, how the seat moves from a left to middle. So, for example, if you're driving to a racetrack, right, um, you obviously have to be in the left uh, side or if you're in Great Britain or in other countries where there's a, a right-hand drive, you can move it to the right. But once you're in a racetrack, uh, it is uh, moves to the middle, uh, which gives you kind of a better control. So I really like that. I also love the look. I mean, just the look is so nice and slick. Um, Kind of wonder, wondering if you guys like this one over the roaster. Really, two different looks, obviously, uh, but it's uh, it's definitely a definitely very exotic car. But guess what? They are now saying they are going to put that in production uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, I think they're going to be making 50 of them, and who knows? Maybe if you know it does really well, um, uh, it, they, they will make more. But at least it's going to be in production. Uh, it looks like it's going to compete with the Tesla Roadster. Um, so let's compare the specs. Before that, of course, I just want to remind you guys that this video on, the, on my channel is sponsored by. Uh, the Starman Gifts, uh, dot com, uh, the home of the adventures of Starman, um, a pretty awesome comic book that I own myself as well. If you haven't gotten a copy, go ahead and grab a discount code in the description of this video. And you can also buy so many different cool Starman gifts and, and, and shirts and stuff like that. And the discount works for all of it. All right. So back to PB18. Um, it is um, it is definitely a a a. a, a, a a, a, a great toy uh, that people, now that we don't know about the price. I mean, I'm kind of like I don't want to say a toy until we know if it's going to be priced as one. Um, as you know, the Roadster is going to be at around two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which is which is a huge bargain, by the way. A quarter million dollars for that car with those specs is amazing. Now, the specs of this particular car is not going to be. It's good. They're going to compete like zero to sixty. I think they're talking about two point one seconds. You know, versus what, 1.9, 1.8 uh, from the Roadster. Now, neither one of them obviously has settled, uh, but very close. I mean, basically, it will take your breath away one way or another. The uh, secondly is now uh, the Roadster is going to have a 200 kilowatt hour battery, and I think the range is going to be around a little over 600 miles. Uh, with the PB18, uh, the battery is only 95 kilowatt hour, and I think we're talking about a 250 mile range. Though, does it really matter? <laughs> 
First of all, you're not gonna take this car on a real a long road trip. I'm assuming it's very low, and it's. I mean, I would. I mean, that would be kind of silly. I think. Um, so most people will probably, you know, it will be kind of a driving around for a day tops, or maybe taking a scenic drive top. So you will never get to, I think, even 150 to 100 miles. So I think the overall mileage doesn't really matter. But nevertheless, Tesla will have a better mileage and a bigger battery. Um, and at that, and that uh, also on top of that, um, you know, uh, the production numbers. So Tesla is going to be making thousands of the roadsters. This is, looks like it's going to be limited edition. Some people will love it because of that. They're like, oh, I want a very exclusive car. So they're going to go for this one. Um, and some will say, hey, I want a very affordable, again, quote unquote, that it's pretty affordable for, for this type of a car in uh in uh in road in in tesla roadster but what i'm the two things that i'm taking away first of all competition is always good i'm glad that this car is going in production when i saw it as a concept i was like oh my god they must they must do this um and and i'm glad they are doing it but also you know don't forget audi um has been kicking some butt in the last literally half a year nobody really saw this coming i think half a year we weren't even thinking about audi as in any way a player in the electric car industry but now look at them i mean with the e-tron that now in production um then they've already announced the uh e-tron gt that's going to be in production a couple of years are uh, they announcing yet another crossover suv at the geneva um outer show they're advertising during super bowl now this baby is going to production as well i mean these guys are like they're not kidding and this is why i i picked this brand as 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 one of the future leaders in electric car revolution uh and and, and they're not there yet but they're definitely getting there and they're getting there fast um so i'm very excited about that by the way let me give a quick shout out to one of my newer patreons kevin shen thank you so much for supporting me i'm a full-time independent youtuber so that obviously helps uh in a top tier you can watch um, all of these videos be created live therefore you're the first ones to see them there are a few other benefits but just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me if you guys want to join kevin and the rest of my patreons just go to patreon.com slash e4 electric uh, the link is also in the description of this video all right looking forward to your comments let me know which one would you get if the prize wasn't an issue which which car would you like uh, to have and why other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged